She's one of 25 finalists here competing for a chance to win our home and family DIY star contest. Please welcome from Cleveland, Ohio, Ursula Carmona. Represent Cleveland. Thank yeah. Wonderful. And her proud mama Karen is in the background watching, beaming, <laughs> smiling from ear to ear. All right. When, and when did you know that oh, your oh. DIY bug had really taken effect in you? Probably from childhood, really. Really? I have very creative parents. They homeschooled me. They try to foster that creativity. Oh. And so that's something that just translated right into this that I do now. Good well, we want to take a look at your entry video right now. Let's play yeah. that so everyone can see. Hey, Hallmark Channel. Welcome to my home. I hear you're looking for the next home and family DIY star. Well, it doesn't get any more DIY than my home. Stop spending $20 to $40 on throw pillows. Look how easily you can make these for just $5. Can you believe we just turned that $8 lamp into this? Day and night. As a homeschooling mom to three by day and a DIY blogger by night, I know how to rock crafts. And when I'm not doing that, I am teaching DIY in person every chance I get. Well, I've got my bags packed. When do I fly out? You do, and you made it all the way out of here to L.A., so congratulations. It's nice to have you in our We home. saw a little bit of what we're doing today in that video, those expensive pillows that yes. you're going to make on the cheap. Yes, right? absolutely. We're talking high-end designer-style pillows, yeah. but $5, if you can believe that. Where did that come from, that idea? The idea. And the idea, really, it's just about necessity or desire. You know how it is when you really see something you love, you're sourcing yeah. through Pinterest or something like that, and you look at it, and it's hundreds of dollars, and you're thinking, no, uh, don't have the budget for that. But not if you're you, <laughs> because you can actually make it. Well, we came yeah. up with a really clever solution for that. And the great thing about it is I have kids, three kids, um, three wonderful, beautiful girls. And the thing oh, about it oh, is it's that. something that they can oh. participate in, and they can help make. And the great thing is these throw pillows are very inexpensive. You can throw them in the washer, use them anytime, change them out for the seasons, yeah. holidays. That's what so. I, you know, because so many times we've taught, I've learned from this show, staple for, and then just let the pillows, the accessories yeah. kick yes. it up. So, and what a great way to save like on that. Like you have a new room. A new Absolutely. All right, so what materials yeah. do we what need do we to need? make these pillows? All right, well, first of all, we're going to be using fabric paint. All right. We'll need a pair of scissors. We need some painter's tape, and we have some frog tape here. A couple of brushes, spun br sponge brushes, and of course we're going to need our pillows. Okay, okay, the pillows. Yes, and that's a really clever thing that we have, and we're going to show more about that process okay. that we've already pre-filled. Right. We're going to like what size pillows? Yes, pillows these pillows are actually standard size pillows, the kinds you would use on your bed. Okay. And all you're going to do is take it, measure out about 20 inches, so it's a standard square pillow, Okay, we're gonna trace across the top. And if you can sew in a straight line, and trust me, I don't sew. So this is a straight line. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Man, as soon as I saw you sewing, I went, oh, brother. <laughs> uh -oh. And then, oh, brother. No, no, it's oh, good, it's brother. doable. Oh, See, all you're doing is just gonna cut the extra yeah. piece off. So again, you end up with that square pillowcase cover. That's, Isn't that amazing? That's more affordable than buying the sandwich. Two dollars. Right? Okay. Really? With that, yes. Oh. But now your pillow is bigger than the... Uh... Well, now, okay. exactly. So now you're going to take a standard pillow again, mm -hmm. open it up, and remove some of the fluffing. All right? And then you're going to fold that in, close it up again with the seam, just that easy in order for you to get a throw pillow size. And this yeah. is two dollar throw uh, pillows Go. that you would get for your regular size bed. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Stuff it and you've got a fantastic you your own new pillow thing. Yes. That's incredible. And wow. you save so much money doing it. Because that whole thing. You could, right you could stop right now. You could stop right now. Yeah, you could stop. You could stop. Yeah. You had me at throw pillow. Okay. <laughs> look how far you've gone. Okay. All right, well, so now, now we need to know how to do the pattern. Yeah, yes. that's the part. Right there. Exactly. So we get to design these in any kind of design we want. But here's a really fun, popular kind of design that we've done. It's trending everywhere. So here's how we're going to start. All we're going to do is start with our frog tape. And then we're going to lay this diagonally. And what I already have, on now this, is our, this is our pillowcase case. protector, mm -hmm. okay? okay. And, and we're going to fold it in half. Yeah. As you can see, okay. this is the square pillow. Mm -hmm. We're going to fold it in half. And we're just going to lay our tape here on the diagonal, 
across. Okay. Right? You have no Four tape pieces. measure here. What do you? You're... No, this is really cool. So this method that I'm using, I, I joke that I'm the lazy DIYer. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. But yes, this method allows you to not have to sit and measure. You're oh. just eyeballing everything. We're going right. to flip it over, and on the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing with your tape. With your you tape. Need some more? I have what did some you right call here. This, tape? Okay. this is frog tape. This frog. is actually a painter's tape, all right? Uh -huh. But it's a really good one. It's one that allows for no bleeding through to meaning, the fabric. Meaning the, the, the paint won't go underneath exactly. the edge. Because you can do that because the you have the blue. Yeah, yeah the blue. Because I'll use yes. this quite often. And it, and as much as it's yeah. good for masking, you can you go like, eh, I got underneath. Yes, this okay. is absolutely my favorite oh, brand. Frog. So we're just going to continue by laying the tape across and meeting the edges. You'll see the pieces sticking out on the other side, so you line up everything. We're going to tuck it under, and look at this. When you open it up, oh, you get that design that you're looking for. We have two more little pieces of tape that we're going to put. You're just going to eyeball again from the mm -hmm. corner. Again, I love everything that's nice and easy, yeah, easy to yeah, do, yeah. quick. Lay now, that why across. Why do you lay it this way now? Well, the reason I'm doing that is because we're going to be painting only in the middle section here. And I'm going to let you have oh, that job. Okay. If you don't mind getting your sure. hands dirty. No. Am what I going to use this pink one? Yes, that's right. a beautiful color. Actually, is, you put an insert in? And this is, this is before you actually, oh, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. before you start painting, always make sure you put a little bit of craft paper on the inside. Because? All that paint can go through to the back side of your pillowcase. And then you have an uh-oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I you could paint once. both sides, but we want yeah. to make sure that it was intentional. Is okay. there a certain way to put this paint on? I would definitely start from the tape mm -hmm. and move inward towards the fabric. That and the way you're reason not, you're not you're pushing not, underneath. Exactly. Yeah. Do we do you we just it. paint it or yeah, just paint? just like okay. that? So you're really Very kind of easy. doing yourself a favor by not you know testing those edges, even though this is frog tape is better. Yes. You're saying. Do yourself a favor and not try to show exactly. it. Exactly. You got it. And check this out. This is our final, while she works on that, okay. our final result here Ooh, with all the it. painter's tape on it. Okay. And once you remove that tape, you want to help me peel that tape off? Look how easily this comes off. And it's going to reveal our gorgeous designer design. It's under here. Here it goes. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, <laughs> it's under there somewhere. <laughs> Okay. You got it? There how go, cool yeah. is this? Yeah. Ooh, Do you suggest, Ursula, you should remove the tape after dried or while it's still a little You know, you wet. can do either, but really, really I, it's sometimes easier, especially if you're working with kids mm -hmm. and are participating in the project, to wait until it dries. No how long is it going to take to dry? Not very long, about an hour. Okay. So very quick. And washable? Washable, oh, absolutely. Oh, because you're using the fabric paint, that's right. I am. I'm using Folk Art brand fabric paint, and it mm -hmm. dries quickly, and check that out. And voila. It's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Look what if we want to zhuzh it up? I, yeah. I know that. I see a zhuzh You got there. some zhuzhing going on I, I there. had some zhuzhing. I like your yeah. term there. Yes, absolutely. Everybody loves a little bit of glam, a little bit of glimmer. So all we're going to do is take a little bit of liquid gold leaf, and we're just going to add some here to our design. Just so like now this. you can you can actually sell these and charge twice for them because it's oh, gold. gold. Exactly. See, see where you're going. And with yes. napkins, I see. Absolutely. Too. This design, this technique where you're painting fabrics and making mm -hmm. them to something can be done on throw pillows, of course, in different designs. Mm -hmm. You can do it on napkins. You can do it on curtains. You can even do it on rugs. Can we see the rug foot? There, there you are. Now, you won some kind of award for or you were in some magazine. I, I was, uh, was very it? honored to be featured in Better Homes and Gardens of March. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> the magazine that's out, is that's that right? Great. 